Tonight, federal prosecutors say they have dealt their strongest blow yet against Asian organized crime. A three-year investigation by federal, state, and local authorities culminated today with the announcement of grand jury indictments. New Center 4's Vic Lee has the story. The 48-count indictment named 19 alleged leaders and underlings of Asian organized crime families, their tentacles stretching from Hong Kong to the Bay Area to Boston. The government's biggest catch, this man, Peter Chong, who once appeared at a congressional crime hearing. Uh, I take the Fifth Amendment privilege. Chong, known as Kao Fu, or uncle, is the reputed West Coast head of the notorious Hong Kong-based Wo Hop To Gang. He was arrested last week in Hong Kong. Another big fish, Raymond Chow, known as Ha Jai, Shrimp Boy, now serving time for a prior conviction. Chow is the reputed head of various street gangs here, with members as young as 14. What you see here is a very sad case of adult criminals exploiting our young ones to kill, to burn, to come to be tr tr uh, drug traffickers and to be prostitutes. Peter Chong, Raymond Chow, and alleged Boston gang leader Wayne Kwong are charged with setting up what the government calls a criminal alliance. Its activities? The lucrative smuggling of China white heroin and cocaine, armed robberies and murder for hire, firearms trafficking, loan sharking, prostitution, and even arson. This fire set in San Francisco by gang members in the Richmond district. This is the first time the government used RICO, the organized crime law, to fight Asian gangs on the West Coast. The same pattern of success that you witnessed against uh, La Cosa Nostra, or the mob back east, is now beginning to be replicated, at least here on the West Coast. The indictments the government said were obtained because of the cooperation of the Chinese American community. Cooperation from people who stepped forward to give information, despite the old Chinese adage, that for a man to take revenge even 10 years later is not too late. Vic Lee, News Center 4. Most of the 19 people indicted have been arrested, six of them just late last week during an FBI sweep right here in the Bay Area. Three men have been arrested for a string of bank robberies in the South Bay all over the past eight months. The latest robbery last Friday at the Bank of America on Stevens Creek Boulevard actually helped crack the case. Witnesses gave a partial license plate number that led to a manager and a former worker at the Economy Imports Auto Parts Store. These appear to be a loose-knit group of old friends and not necessarily a gang. Um, the fact that, that they had been involved in some minor problems before and now have escalated into bank robbery, I, I think is uh, possibly indicative of the times.